you doing? Michael. Mike Bradley here. Hope you are doing well as always. It's the last day of GitCon 2018. I'm feeling it. Yeah, it's going to be interesting <laughs> to see videos from Monday yeah. to today <laughs> yes. and just the bags and all that kind of yep. stuff. But we are here with a YouTube legend. Oh. Like, uh, uh, is it the OG? Where, Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> David Wallachan is here, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> How are you doing, my friends? Good, man. It's so nice to finally meet you in person. Likewise. It's, uh, I, I've said to David, I don't want to say it on camera, that it's his fault I'm involved <laughs> in YouTube because I think it must have been... 2011, 2012, mm -hmm. I, I put, I, I saw a video of David's, basically how, as a guitar player, how to start doing YouTube videos. I remember, that's and, right. Uh, and I was like, I think I can do that. I like, I think he was making it sound very easy and uh, you know, just uh, basically uh, put videos up as much as you can, <laughs> be yourself. Basically, I yeah, like, yeah, Be yeah. yourself, all these kind of, you had like 10 tips, didn't you? You know, yeah. consistent, consistencies and, and stuff like that. So um, this is all your fault. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you know, I mean, a lot of people have watched, but not many have put that to practice. So that's to your credit. Congratulations. Oh, you. Thank you. You've oh, done it. You. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, it's, it's always, you know, it's oh, like, yeah. how's this crazy world work? But, yeah. uh, but you know, coming somewhere like this, it's, um, it's amazing to meet everyone who's in the same boat as us yeah it can be lonely you know mm -hmm. a lot of time you know yeah you're, you're doing stuff on your own so to speak oh yeah know? yeah and when i came here and i'm sure the same i thought i don't want to do any videos on my own because mm -hmm. i'm always doing them on my own so yep. and got these amazing players amazing people here yeah you know, kind of capitalize on yeah that, man you know? but how's life how's, how's things? it's it's how? good it's uh this is the second get time for me of course yes um and this is this is the the better one. Oh, <laughs> the wicked. first one was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it just keeps getting better. So oh, brilliant! It's, yeah. And it's nice to just, like you said, get out of your basement or your room or whatever. Absolutely. And, yeah. Um, and just talk to other people, get ideas. But the cool thing is, like you said, that you you started because of me. But the the cool thing is that this kind of job that we have yeah. is so unique and new mm -hmm. that I'm learning tons from you too, watching your stuff oh, and wow. vice versa. So it's not like. You know, one person started it and has all the answers. We're Absolutely, all yeah. Boat, it's always just... changed, and I could, and it's gone from. I mean, if you look at the really big, big guys, you know, it's gone from where it was just one guy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes not even I mean, when I first started, I never mic'd an amp or anything yeah. like that. It was all very simple, you know. Yeah. And uh, and now you know people have a big productions mm -hmm. big crews and, and like it's hard to compete with that you can't compete with yeah. that you know, unless you, you know get a windfall of money coming or something yeah uh, you can't compete with it but I mean I still like you know just a guy chatting about stuff you know as if they're your mm -hmm. friend you know the cameras are friends yeah. so to speak you know and 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 seeing the audience that way you know so it's cool and and now I have you <laughs> <laughs> I want to dive in the, the Wallerman mind so to All speak right, you let's, know let's do it. and um <laughs> You know, obviously you're a fantastic guitar player, and even oh, before you. cameras are rolling, um, you know, you're, you're open chords in yeah. the world, you know, you're, yeah. you're very chordal, and it's good to uh, be interesting to see how you how you view the, the neck of the guitar and, sure. and what you're thinking, and more importantly as well, what you can't do, like what you're trying to work on doing yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, there's you tons know. of those. Where should I start? Well, let's start, let's see how you how you view the, like say, especially yeah. your chord knowledge and stuff like that, because you certainly have a very good chord knowledge. Yeah, well, all right, you're going to be disappointed because here's what I do. Um, I, I'm, I'm from a very traditional background, rock, pentatonic, mm -hmm. stuff like that, mm -hmm. and you think in terms of boxes, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And stuff like that. And then um, I was working on a lesson for YouTube, and I had to map out the whole fretboard. So mm -hmm. I was doing something, I don't know, A major, and then wrote all the notes, all mm -hmm. the possible notes. And then I thought, well, I know that these notes together will be part of A major. Mm -hmm. And I also know that when you're building chords, like if you're building like triads, well, the traditional way of harmonizing, you take like the first note, the third, the fifth, Absolutely. and then the same, the same thing from the second note and so forth. And that is all part of A major. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, well, I can basically use any notes that I want and it's going to be a chord. Mm -hmm. And I don't even need to know the name of the chord. It doesn't matter. I know yeah. it's going to fit. And that's kind of how I try to visualize it. This probably started four years ago. Right. And so now if I look at my fretboard, um, instead of seeing like three note per strings or the cage system patterns, I, see, I try to see the whole thing. And if I'm in A major, I picked A because you got that open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I could pick uh, any note. I know that this note, for example, is part of A major because. Sure. Okay, so that's giving me one note. I'll, I'll look at the next uh, next string. 
Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so I can pick this, 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 this. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I'll pick this. I don't know what's gonna. Happen. So so far my chord has this and this. Right, yeah, I'm and then it. continue like um, dun, dun. okay this because it's easy to play. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I could continue and I could pick any. I'll pick this one. So I have now this and mm -hmm. this with the bass will be attracted to that yeah, the, the the root. Yeah. Which will be A. And this is part of A. Yeah. It's beautiful. What is right, it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, know. right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it works. So good. Let's let's jam a little bit on this. I kind of like this. Let's do A major. Let's have it. vocabulary of chords like that yeah, yeah but that's what started the uh the open chord type of thing mm. because within a bunch of scales you will find some open strings and so including a major um like the e is part of a major so that chord could be that and then i could move each of these notes to the next note it encounters in the scale which would be something uh, mm -hmm. yeah yeah and so that's kind of the approach for chords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the last thing I do is, um, do you know about the magic chord? <laughs> I call it the, I, only I do it. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody knows it as this, but it's this kind of shape, like three strings, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. um, pick your, your ring finger on the fifth fret of the third string, for example. And then you do a bar on the third. Mm -hmm. So that's the shape, okay? Mm -hmm. This shape is magical because you can move it anywhere you want on right. the fretboard. Okay, get very dissonant, yeah. But here's the here's the thing. You can play uh, a low E string or an A on bass. It's always going to work, and you can vary the... Yeah? Right? And this sound like John Schofield. Or yeah, <laughs> you sound smarter than you really are, but it's... I just kind of like this, doing stuff like that. <laughs> it's fun. I love that. That's great. <laughs> well, it's the thing, you know, is there's no such thing as a wrong note, you right? Know? And I mean, I, I uh, I've done a video on it. I kind of call this thing the matrix system. Yeah. Where you know, like you were saying, A, and then A just all pops up, where you can kind of see. And so it's just after a while of playing, and I'm sure you're the same. Like it just, it just kind of pop out. Yeah. I don't know. You kind of see. It, no, like I call it the matrix because of the green. You know. Yeah. Kind of stuff. Right. So if you're yeah, in, yeah. I don't know, uh, G. Same uh -huh. thing. That's up, tasty. Know. That's nice. Yeah, you know. So I kind of like to think of it as the, the matrix. So it sounds yeah. like a similar idea. It, we just have it, our it weird, yeah. our weird names to it. You yeah. Know? And then so one thing I've been asking kind of everyone, you know, from Phil to mm -hmm. uh, to Nick, you know, who is probably the greatest. Yeah, he's guitar, ridiculous. But, oh my yeah. God. I think I've picked him up in every video. He's just yeah. something special. Yep. But is there stuff you like? What really pisses you off, <laughs> you know, that like, you can't, and you, you're kind of honing your skill on it and whatnot, or do you, you've accepted that you can't I've, do it. And here's the thing I have mastered this thing. I, no. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Has anyone ever said that? Well, no, there are tons of day. things that I, <laughs> I saw your face dropping. Wait, what? Who is this guy? <laughs> so arrogant. I love it. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, there's tons of stuff. Tons. Um, what I've been trying to work on since last GitCon mm. is um, I've, I've always had trouble with uh, faster stuff, mm -hmm. and every once in a while it's cool to do, but I can't last very long when I when I do alternate picking yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I'm and so I've asked myself, like, are you really an alternate picking player, mm -hmm. or maybe a legato player? And I can never really find the thing that is the most comfortable. And I was kind of disappointed to find that it was economy picking. I, okay. I I love the technique. I love how it sounds. But to me, it was very limiting. So for those who don't know, economy picking, it's kind of a um, combination of um, alternate picking on the same string, down, up, down, up, down, up, just alternate those. Yeah. But when you, when you go to the next string, you do a sweeping movement. 
-hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so to me, when I was thinking about that, it's, it, it's very limiting because you've got to plan your moves ahead yeah, yeah. to be in the right direction. But for some reason, this kind of came a little more naturally than the alternate picking. Yeah. I'm not very good at it, but it, it was oh, a no, little bit easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I started just working on that. But the thing that is frustrating to me that you asked is um, that I seem to always be locked into some of those patterns. Like, I, I, it's hard to get away from. I always do kind of like, so one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, that kind of thing. And it's predictable. So yeah, I'd like yeah, yeah. to get out of that. That's what's frustrating me. Right yeah, now. I always, well, when people say like, I'm stuck in a rut or anything yeah. like that, I always say about just try doing one, play on one string. Yeah. You know, put a backing mm -hmm. track on or something. <laughs> I've got to try not to bend with this floating tread. Yeah. Like, you get the idea. And it's then, no, then, no, try two strings. You've got all your country kind of stuff coming yep. out, you know. But it is funny, you know, we do rely on our stock phrases a lot. But I mean, I've always uh, tried not to think of licks. I, I don't like the, I don't in a way like the name licks. Yeah. Um, you know, they're just, I mean, right. we got that, mm -hmm. and everyone kind yeah. of does it. It's just always a thing I kind of fall into doing, you know? Yeah. But I try to think of it as a lick and then, cause um, you know, you play with someone and like, what's that you just did? I, was like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. You yeah, can, yeah, like, yeah. It's just, just, you know, it wasn't like I'm going to plan mm -hmm. it. So I can see what I mean about the comedy picking probably annoys you because yeah. you can I mean, I, I've never, I never, it, right. you know, I can sweep a bit, but, but, uh, yeah, it's a bit tricky, you know, it is. but, um, yeah, but some people, right, they can really get that down up pick. I've got to think about it. I'm not yeah. Really, but the challenge with that, though, is that it becomes mechanical, too, and you don't want to go it. too far into that extreme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to be just kind of, uh, you know, like uh, Eric Gales. Yeah. You know, that guy's yeah. just free. Exactly. He just goes That's... off it. And, but then he's got, like, a, he does a comedy picking, mm -hmm. I think. I, don't I think, think he's, so. He's a straight up, down yeah. up picker, you know. And he probably doesn't really think about it, too. Like oh, yeah. Hers. I was saying to someone the other day, like, I doubt someone like Mike Landau, mm -hmm. who I class as one of the best out there. Yeah. I doubt he's sitting there in front the TV going right <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know I'm sure he, he just goes with it you know and yeah whatever all that kind of stuff go, mm -hmm. happens he just goes with it and kind of gets you know but yeah it's interesting because you know people want everything so quick now and mm -hmm. you know and they see people like ourselves and think oh you got it's like well, no yeah. even you know great players you oh know, like, yeah you're, you're great and I'm sure they still have their days where you know, it's, it's not working. Yeah, you know? yeah. And uh, the thing I've kind of picked up this week is trying not to think about it. Yeah. And just, you know, if you start thinking about your picking hand or your left mm -hmm. hand, especially when you're in an environment like this, where I'm sure you just, how you, how have you found these videos? Like, I'm used to, if you do a mistake, you just kind of stop it. Yeah. But this is light. It's yeah, like we're doing yeah, a live stream yeah, in is, a way. Yeah. You know, there's no stuff. So it's like, you should have like, oh no, let's yeah. do that again. I just cocked up there. It's like, yeah. none of that. Yeah, <laughs> it's very genuine. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, yeah. it's yeah. great. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it, so you just get yeah. kind of free and you kind mm -hmm. of slide about. So yeah, that's cool, man. But like I say, that chord knowledge thing is really, especially the the magic chord. Yeah, <laughs> you always have to have clever titles, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's <yeah>. YouTube. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, we know about that, man. You know, and then, before wrapping up, have you got anything coming up? You still, how's your channel? And you do a lot of theory and lessons. And stuff yeah, like that, yeah, yeah, which I, I still love. Mm -hmm. um, working on the next album, it's oh, a cool. slow process, but I, it's something you're on your own. It's hard. You yeah, know, it and, is. And uh, you know, obviously, nothing's nothing's free. Nothing's yeah, cheap. Yeah, it's a lot of fun though. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Do, do you play live much? At I all? don't. No, last live gig was like, oh my gosh, like six, seven years ago. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, a long time ago. So I imagine it'd be weird if you was to have a blazing amp behind you now or something like that or? it's very strange like yeah. here you know we we can play loud mm. and uh, most most guitar players love it mm. i i lose all my capacity to do anything when yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. weird it's yeah like, so i'm so used to loud that's yeah. why when we got in i was like oh, let's go loud you right know? yeah 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 i can't play loud it's it's funny it's strange. yeah i know it's, especially if you're not used to it but then yeah. if you use like a plug-in yeah. It's very easy, like um, I've been using bias effects a, a yeah. little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, and even I did a video of uh, Steve from Boston mm -hmm. and you've got the headphones on. It's like, oh, right. it's so nice. Cause yeah. I think it's just there, you yeah. know, you don't have to worry about it. You've got that smooth sound for mm -hmm. overdrive stuff. So yep. if you get used to that and then going through, you know, where you've got, a, I mean, 
I've yeah. got no, the twin reverb here. Mm-hmm. It's a loud bloody amp. So I'm on like three, I think. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Which is still river. Yeah. That's, that's more than a bedroom volume, yeah. isn't it? Really, yeah. you know? See, I like not thinking. If yeah. I start thinking, I'll, I'll get right, <laughs> yeah. carried out, you yes. know, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Honestly, I think the, the volume thing is a confidence thing. Yeah. Um, when I'm when I'm playing with a loud thing, well, obviously people are gonna hear it, yeah. and it does. It's weird, like being in a bedroom for so long doing videos. Yeah. When you have to play with other people, it's just a confidence thing. I think yeah. that's what it is. I was I made a video with Phil X about that. I told him, man, you're the most confident person I know. He is. Teach me. <laughs> he really is super and, super confident, you know. And he's he's played in. You can tell he's playing in so many bars oh, yeah. in front of good audiences and more mm-hmm. importantly, bad audiences. Yeah. And that's the key there, you mm-hmm. know, knowing that, no, hold, hold a crowd in front of five people or something, yeah. you know, yeah. and like, come on! Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. Voice, yeah, you got it. Right? You know, but <laughs> it's like, yeah, and, but it's all about confidence. You yeah, know? it is. Be it, even as a, you can tie it into a lesson thing as a player, mm-hmm. you know, like when it comes to vibrato, you know, sitting on a note. Yeah. Instead of thinking, Right, I've got to do this all the time. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know. Right. <laughs> and then go to the next yeah. thing. No, not thinking you've got to constantly keep no. playing all the yeah. time, you know. Yeah. So. Don't worry about that confidence, people. Yes. But I tell you, man, it's been so cool yeah, to meet same and here. hang out with you this weekend, and more importantly, finally do a video together. Yes, we'll um, do more. And say, so, lovely bloke, lovely player, <laughs> and uh, I look forward to hanging out with you more in the future. Me too, friends. man. Should we end on a little, little I think jammage? We should. Yeah, yeah um, let's do it. We, uh, uh, I'm gonna throw some chords at you. Okay. I wanna to listen to you play, so. Uh, <laughs> Geekcon 2018, I'll put links to David's channel. I'm sh- you should know. You should be already <laughs> subscribed to David's channel if you're not. What's the man over here? But uh, Mike Bradley, very much signing out. Thank Thanks, you, Mike. I'll be hanging out. Take care. See you guys. The devil's on my side. Talking to myself again, I'm bored of what I say. I sit and wait.